Hi, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com, your leading source for cell phone news and reviews. Today we have the Samsung Eternity 2, it's for the AT&T market. Remember, secret deal, $69.99. Uh, it's going to be $69.99 uh, if you buy it on AT&T.com with two year contract extension. Um, if you buy it in store, you're looking around $120 and without that it's $220. So, um, this is going to be the review, just show you some of the full features of it, play with it a while, got a kind of feel for it. Some things I like, some things I don't, so let's get into the full review. Here's our blue Samsung Eternity. I cannot stress to you enough, blue, I don't know why. Um, Ricky, our video editor, was playing with this phone and he called it the 12 year old blue. No, don't let that you know. Don't let that you know discourage you from buying the phone. If you like what it has, and blue is your absolute favorite color, you got a blue house and a blue car. If you listen to that song, that blue song from back in the late '90s, you know this might be your phone. Um, physical features, real quick: uh, three-inch uh, capacitive touchscreen. Um, it's a candy bar style phone, no physical keypad, it's all virtual. Um, end call, clear back button, accept call, also the power button. On the right side, your micro USB um, port, charging port is in here. Uh, lock screen, it says lock, pretty easy. A dedicated camera key and um, shortcut key for different options. Two megapixel non autofocus camera and volume rocker bar, and that's it. There's no 3.5 millimeter headset jack, however, if you do remember, it does come with the adapter, so yay, Samsung. You do a thumbs up here, yay. Anyways, um, let's get into the phone. Uh, TouchWiz 3.0, and there we go. As you can tell, we have three home screens. A little more responsive, in my opinion, than the uh, Samsung Flight 2. Um, Dialer still very basic dialer. Uh, contacts come in here pretty easily. Um, flows fairly well. I mean, I have roughly 200 contacts in here. I mean, I'm just blowing through them all, no lag. So definitely enjoy that. Um, here's your menu. Again, standard uh, left to right menu, touch whiz. You can go all the way through. There's no bar stopping you. You can just continuously go through them. Um, first thing we're going to see on main menu, uh, there's mobile TV on here. Mobile TV, extra 10 bucks a month. And you can um, basically view mobile television. It's basically pretty simple. Uh, mobile browser, I am client. Um, music video, mobile videos. Um, AT&T Radio, uh, your games, I know you guys are interested in games, Tumbling Dice, um, pretty standard. And that's the only full game you have on here. I don't know why Tumbling Dice is in here as games, because I don't know if you like to play craps with your friend in the back alley, but you don't have any real dice, you can just throw some dice on your phone, I don't know. Um, Brain Exercise, Bubble Bash 2, uh, Diner Dash Flow, On the Run, Fun Screens, Luxor Quest, and Sims 3, Mobile, Demo, they're all demos. Uh, you have all, all Sport GPS as well. It's a fun little application to get into if you buy this phone. Uh, your camera picture, it is video capable as well, and there's video sharing as well. Waikiki Mobile's on here, your MyCast weather, your settings, etc. Get in your browser real quick. ATT.net does have a full HTML browser. Uh, it's preset onto mobile view for most websites, however, so if you want the full HTML browsing experience, just remember to go into your settings and click that. However, we're not in a very good area of the building, a lot of steel, so I'm just going to exit the browser here, um, just because it's not going to be fast enough for the video, but it does have a nice browser. Um, I'm going to show you that shortcut key. Hit the shortcut key right here. 
it brings up call messaging mobile web games music player and end all running applications in the background um, I'll show you messaging here show you an idea of what the layout is it's create message inbox sent outbox drafts I am and create message it says tap or rotate to add text I will tap you come up with your t9 texting or if you just automatically go to the left there you go there was a bit of a learning curve here I'll set this down there's a bit of a learning curve in typing on this Uh, you actually had to type just a little bit lower than you thought you wanted to, where you wanted to put your finger. Hey, you guys. Anyways, awful impersonation of Sloth. Um, name that movie, and I will send you a free car charger. First person in the comments to tell me the movie reference I just made, I will send you a free car charger for whatever your phone is. Um, See free giveaways in the videos. So I can send this and pretty easy. You can tap to add a recipient. Um, contacts, I can enter an email or a number. Contacts, pretty easy. And we are gonna send it to this person. Add, send, done. And it's pretty quick for only having like two bars in here. So, you have a lot, a lot of widgets. Uh, you have social networking, you have Yahoo, you have um, MySpace, Facebook, MSN. No Twitter on here, I was a little disappointed to see that. You come up in here, you can see other ones you can add or take away. Mobile web, pictures, games, uh, widget memos. Go on a diet, that was really interesting. Go on a diet widget. And that was about it. But there's a lot of different Samsung widgets in here. Real nice, real handy. Uh, just always feels a little too cartoony to me. Um, if they were to make them a little smaller, a little more visually aesthetically pleasing, I could get behind them a little more. But until then, I just, I just can't. Overall, a very nice phone, very quick phone. Like to have seen at least a 3.5 millimeter headset jack on here. Um, when we used that in the field, when we had better reception, um, mobile browsing was decent. We'll call it decent. The reason it was decent was just because the processors in these cheaper phones just aren't fast enough to like you know the, the one gigahertz processors like the Snapdragon, uh, etc. That you see in this you know this, you know the smartphones. However, this is just a plain full feature phone. It's just running standard TouchWiz. It's nothing really special, you know, on contract. It's $70 on AT&T.com. You know, you're not breaking the bank, but you do get a lot of widgets. You do get a lot of features. You do have social networking on here as well. Uh, it's just a longer, more narrow version of the uh, Flight 2 uh, without a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. That's really what this phone is. Um, it's decent and it's blue. It is so blue. I don't know what to tell you about that other than it's blue. But if you want to change the case, I'm sure they'll have third party marketers um, giving cases out for this phone as well. So, again, my name is Tom, cellphonetrek.com. Go to cellphonetrek.com for all your latest cell phone news and reviews. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, really just go to Facebook, cell phone track, hit like, and that's it. You're not going to get spammed by us. You're not going to get anything. I received a text message. So that's a notification of you receiving a text message. Again, find us on Facebook and Twitter, at cell phone track. Pretty simple. And follow our tweets there. Basically, we're just going to let you know all the latest and greatest in cell phone news via Twitter. So there you go. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have yourself a great day. All right? Good. Go have a great day. Go. Go right now. Stop watching this video and go have a great day. All right. See you later.